back in the 70s, I was working for a harpsichord maker and uh, doing repair work and various other things. And a fellow brought in an old, uh, what's called a uh, regal octophone. It's an old uh, mandolin that's you can tune it eight different ways, so they call it the octophone. And his name for the instrument was Ernest, and so I did some repairs and actually built a copy of Ernest. And hence, and I thought, oh, Ernest, that's a pretty good name. It's better than Eckhaus for a music company, so that's been it ever since. Well, I did start out with sopranos, and, um, and then I kind of stopped for a while. I was taking lessons from Roy Smeck and doing other types of work. And, um, and then in the early 90s, I got back into instrument making for myself, and um, I was a ukulele make player, so I needed an instrument. And I think the first thing I built was a Martin-style concert. Knowing that the people had done all sorts of ridiculous and crazy things with ukuleles in the past, I felt fully licensed to do whatever you know came into my head. And so I got some ideas for cigar box ukuleles and electric guitar-shaped ukuleles and canoe paddle-shaped ukuleles and you know whatever whatever crazy idea came into my mind and you know once in a while they turned into actual instruments that worked pretty well. So. Alright, these are called the Stradolite and uh, these are two tenor strads that I'm making. Um, they're one's in mahogany, the other's in curly maple and uh, these are modeled after a guitar that uh, Stradivarius made in around 1700. Uh, there's a few known examples of his instruments in a couple of museums. I just thought it was an interesting shape, uh, a beautiful shape, and I thought it was, would be adaptable to the ukulele, and so I made them and use, this is the neck, mirrors that shape as well. Well, this is, uh, will be a cigar box ukulele um, when it's completed, and people have been making all kinds of musical instruments, fiddles, banjos, guitars, you name it, out of cigar boxes for a hundred years or more. And um, so it wasn't an original idea of mine, but uh, I think I took it a little bit further than some do. Um, this one is fully braced like a, a, a Martin style concert or some other uh, instrument. And um, some of them that I make open up like this, and this particular model is called the Huchaleli, and this gets a little uh, insert in here, a little cabinet that uh, goes inside with the, uh, the libation kit and um, this closes up and uh, it's fully playable although it sounds a little better when you take all that stuff out of there and um, and then you have a few drinks and it sounds even better. Yeah. <laughs>